So it's just gonna comment on each guy real fast while we get acquainted with the group. Yeah, um, obviously 10 guys we've signed. Uh, recruiting, you know, there's, there's now different phases of recruiting. So this is kind of the, you know, the high school prep school type group. Uh, also, uh, you know, I think we have one, uh, one junior college guy in there as well. Um, but the bottom line is we've got 10 total. Uh, the first being Demarion uh, Alberic, who's a running back out of Atlantic High School in Florida. Numbers just real quick. 198 carries, 1,400 yards. He's, he's a lightning in the bottle player. You know, quick, agile, great change of direction, good short area quickness. So a guy we feel really good about. Offensive lineman, Tanner Burlingame from Maine Elmwell High School, 6'5", 270, very athletic, played both ways. Uh, he'll play offensive line for us. And uh, it really comes from an outstanding program, Maine and well, in uh, the state of New York. Uh, we're excited to get him to play tackle for Alex Miller here. Um, you know, really good player. Uh, Ke Kezion Dia Johnson, wide receiver from uh, Desert Edge High School in Arizona. Uh, very good player. Um, I saw some... Uh, some Twitter feed today where they ranked him as the third highest high school commit from uh, UMass. Uh, you know, obviously a very, 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 very good player with 112 receptions for 1,855 yards and 24 touchdowns. So, you know, he's a talented guy for sure. And right next to him is A.J. Hairston, our, our quarterback from the state of Florida. Uh, obviously went to Monarch High School, 6'3", 215, um, 472 for 671 uh, in terms of throwing for 77 touchdowns in his career. Dual threat guy, a guy that can really run as well. So, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of pushes along. You know, we, we try to sign a freshman each year and obviously we think we got a good one there. Um, at tight end, Ludovic Martin, tight end, Clearwater International School or Academy, 6'5", 230, uh, really got uh, real abilities, got, had 28 catches for 30, 381 yards, three touchdowns in 13 games. Um, we're excited of what this guy can bring to our offense. Uh, you know, a good pass catcher from the tight end position, those guys are hard to find. So. We're excited about that piece as well. Kenyon Massey, from uh, wide receiver from Paramus Catholic, 5'10", 185, a really polished receiver. Um, had 39 rushing yards on 13 attempts, but he totaled 2,006 receiving yards on 131 catches and 21 touchdowns in his career. So. Uh, no stranger to the ball. You know, he's a guy you want to get the ball in his hand for sure. Our second offensive lineman is Brock Taylor from Atlee High School in Virginia, 6'3", 280. Uh, you know, he's a block. Um, he's rated a top 50 recruit in the state of Virginia. Uh, Four-year varsity player, thick, strong, uh, great leverage, uh, loves to finish. Those guys are hard to find, so we're, we're excited we got one. So there you go. Um, the three defensive guys that we signed in the, f in the first cycle here, Jadrian Gibbs, uh, he's a Viper. When his most recent school, he was at Northeastern Oklahoma uh, A&M. Uh, six foot, 200, 205 pounds, somewhere in there. We think this guy has all the attributes that we look for in the Viper. You know, he's agile, he can rush the passer, he can drop into coverage, he can defend the run game. So this is a guy that we'll, we'll expect a lot from. Uh, his versatility is his strength, and the versatility that you have at the Viper position is a huge deal. Uh, 
He had this, this year 20 tackles, 11 solos, 9 assists, 2 TFLs, and a sack while blocking a kick. And that just kind of outlines, you know, he missed some time. But uh, a guy that we're really excited about, you know, uh, him pl playing at, at the Viper position for us. Keith Sarkodian, uh DB from Worcester Academy, uh, right down the road. You know, he's about 10 minutes from where I was born. Um, obviously 6'2", about 195 pounds now. He played all varsity games both ways. Uh, for example, he had 33 catches for 682 yards and 11 touchdowns. That's a pretty good offensive performance right there. But on defense, he had 19 solos, 12 assists, 31 total tack tackles. He has outstanding coverage ability, could play corner, could play safety. So we're kind of excited about him because we can plug him into any one of the four positions and has outstanding position flexibility. Um, Brahim Wynn, defensive end from Timber Creek Regional in New Jersey. 6'3", 235, I'll just give you his numbers. Posted 11 sacks as a senior, which is a lot. He had 56 tackles, 47 solos, two forced fumbles, and a fumble return for a touch. His high school career saw him with 24 and a half sacks. So you know I'm going to lean to this guy, and I'm excited about what he brings to the table from a rush, pass rush ability. Um, without question. Earned uh, West Jersey Football League Memorial Division first team defensive honors. Great competitor and and he loves the havoc. So, you know, he's sit right next to me, my friend. But uh, there's our 10 guys. Now, that does not mean that's all we recruited was 10 players. But there's the 10 guys that I can talk about. And, uh, you know, obviously with the uh, portal system and so forth. You know, we're hard at work in that, in that space, but we're not allowed to give any of that information away at this point in time. So that, that kind of wraps up, you know, a little bit on each guy, a summation on each guy. It also kind of gives you, we're still hard at work and uh, working in the portal system, you know, to satisfy uh, some positional needs that we're, where uh, you know we're, we're looking hard at on both sides of the ball. It seemed, in the recruiting process with the high school prep school kids, do you and I, do you just recruit guys instead of recruiting like positions? Because I noticed you have eight different positions on that team. Is that is that and has that changed a lot? You know, from in your in your history as recruiting, it, it, the portal situation has really changed it. So what you're doing, for example, is you're identifying places where you may need a little bit more experience. So instead of going with a developmental guy that you've got to get worked in, you, you, you're really trying to go with a guy with experience at the position that you think you can plug and play. And that's really what it comes down to is we're trying to, you know, in some scenarios, we almost have to bypass the high school piece to go to the plug and play situation so that we have a chance to have an ex some experience in those positions of, uh, you know, the, of concern or of need. But, it, but when you're talking to high school, you're just recruiting the best guys you can yes. rather than saying you want five offensive linemen. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing that. Uh, you know, of the five offensive linemen, you may be going for two developmental guys and three experienced guys, so that's the way you've got to go. But you, you've got to kind of have a plan of what you're going to do and how you're going to go about satisfying that plan. Um, and, uh, you know, it does, it does allow uh, you to get, you know, like, you can bring in some guys with some experience, which also lends to your leadership, which I think is a big deal. What is the game plan now as far as where, you, you know, positions that you need that you, you know, as you look ahead to the rest of, of the recruiting cycle, where do you think you need to, the most help? Uh, inside defensive line position, we're, we're looking for a couple of uh, 
solid guys there. Uh, you know, we'll always take a pass rusher if available to us. But really, um, our concern is the back end on the defensive side, corner safety. And really, we're trying to go a little bit more of, of the experience scenario, looking for guys with experience that we can plug and play. And uh, we think that's going extremely well. I can't really say any of the names, but I can tell you we're proceeding in a, in a positive direction as we look there. The offensive line was a, a big area of need. We also needed to do a good job at the receiver position. Um, uh, tailback, you know, we, we've taken, uh, obviously, the freshmen, and, uh, you know, we still may be in the, in the uh, market for a tailback uh, if we find a guy that kind of fits our needs. And I assume you're the portal's going to, you're going to look for another quarterback? Yes. I mean, you know, the one thing we learned in the first year is, you know, you, you can't just go with two or three quarterbacks because you could be, and we, and we ran into that scenario even in the second year when Tyson got nicked and we had to go to Carson, you know, so that was a, a concern. So, you know, we're doing that, but we're also, you know, we're going to take a developmental co a quarterback that we can develop in our system so this guy has a chance in a couple of years to be a really good player. What's been the response on the, on the recruiting trail with guys in the portal, with the high school kids after two years now? Is it, does it feel different? Is it a little different? Um, have the, you know, is it been easier, harder? What? Well, you know, the, it's hard to tell, you know, because uh, you're going, I, I will say this, it puts more uh, emphasis on, for example, like, Pro football focus, you're, you're kind of jumping in into their, their uh, scenario. You're looking at tape, you're grading the tape, and then from there, you know, a guy has to be in the portal. You can't just go grab a guy that's not in the portal. Uh, that's, that's, not, that's not kosher. So, you know, but anybody that's in the portal then is kind of up for, you know, grabs in essence. And, uh, you know, what we try to do is identify guys that we think, you know, A, can come in here and compete uh, for, to, for playing time, B, are, are the types of guys that we like. And we really feel like to this point, we're really hitting on some guys that we really kind of like as young men, too. And I think that's an important caliber, especially when you're trying to blend uh, those guys together with the guys that you currently have on your uh, on your depth chart. Does it feel like you're closer now? I, I do feel like we're closer. I mean, I, you know, when you pause for a minute, I mean, you know, we beat New Mexico State, which was a big win for us. I mean, obviously beating Army was another big win. We beat Mer Merrimack, which... You know, we kind of held serve there. Uh, but, you know, there's two, you know, illustrations, I think, of, of solid wins for us. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, that's, that's important with taking steps forward. We're not, we didn't take as many as we would have liked. I, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and talk about injuries and this and that, but there was a period of time early in the season you know, right in the Auburn game, we go down the field and we score. And then, uh, you know, then your quarterback's on the bench with an injury. And then he doesn't play for three to four weeks. That, that was a difficult time for us because it was a time where we we had to make hay and, and we really didn't. The guys that you lost, that, that have gone into the portal from here, was it more this year than it had been? Yeah, you know, a couple, I mean, in terms of the numbers of guys that were, you know, in starting type roles, I think we lost two to three guys. Um, but, you know, it, it, it obviously it's prevalent, but I, I think that's what's happening across the country, you know. So you can't cry about it. You just got to move on and, get, you know, get to work in your recruiting process. And, 
you know, that there's the example right there. Uh, an older guy out, you try to bring an older guy in because you've been, you know, in essence lost a guy and that's, that's been a veteran for you, so you try to replace him with a veteran. So that, there's the strategy, you know. Do you take a developmental guy or do you take a veteran guy? And it all comes down to, you know, how, you know, how your, uh, your depth charts, you know, moving. Coach, yes, um, with uh, the introduction of uh, the NIL and having a new uh, locker room project um, in the works, has that been used in the recruiting trail at all? And has it made it easier to uh, kind of talk to players? And uh... I don't know if it's made it easier. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, we, we don't ignore it. In fact, we support it. So, you know, that's that's the piece. I mean, all pulling from the same rope and, uh, you know, you know, t Tim and Corey, you know, do a good job. So, you know, you know, we're, we're in support of them. Um, but, you know, it's just part, you know, it's part of the daily life of being a college football coach now. So, uh you know, uh, you got to embrace it, and you know, you got to know how to function, uh, you know, successfully within that system. And uh, but the bottom line is, you're still a football coach, and you need to focus on getting your guys ready to compete in the, in the off season, and then competing uh, at a high level uh, in the fall. Um, can you talk to us a little bit more about? Um Dia Johnson, obviously bringing in a guy that's the third highest uh, recruit in UMass uh, history is uh, pretty big. And like you said, that uh, wide receiver uh, position needed some uh, uh, backup with losing guys to the portal. Um, what does he bring to your team? What, is he, what do you like to bring to his offense? I think he brings us immediate uh, speed and quickness, you know, with Simpson and uh, some of the new guys that are coming along here. I mean, I just feel really good about the entire group that we have at receiver. And, uh, you know, obviously Tyson back as our quarterback certainly helps. And it's going to help him. You know, he's, he's a second year in our system. And it's nice when your quarterback has to truly be the leader and help get his uh, receiver core, you know, educated and ready to go. All right, we can do Zoom next. Take some questions from Zoom. Okay. Hey, Coach, good to see you again. How we um, doing? I know, I know you mentioned the recruiting process is far from over, obviously. Transfer portal stuff, still figuring that out. But yep. what are you most excited about uh, with this group that, that you're bringing in today? Um, I think our skill on offense continues to improve. Um, Obviously, we're working hard on the defensive side, in, uh, especially on the back end, and that continues to improve. Nothing that I can announce today or anything like that, but, um, you know, it, it just seems like we're heading down a really good avenue in terms of the, that position. Uh, and the offensive line, you know, continues to improve, so... You know, I think defensive line internally we're getting better. Uh, our linebacker crew is veteran, and uh, you know, obviously we've added we've added uh, three guys there, but we're also in the process of get of getting some help on the back end as well. So, I think we're in a a good like if you said to me what. Where do you think you are right now? I, I would say we're on schedule that when February 1st comes and we're back in classes, the emphasis will be conditioning and, and educating our guys on, on offense, defense, and kicking, and we'll be you know in, in a good place uh, going into that period uh, with our personnel. Any other questions from Zoom? Yeah, I'll toss another one. And you mentioned kicking. Uh, obviously, mm -hmm. Carson entered the uh, the transfer portal. Um, do you have 
a, a solution, I guess, to fill that that gap with the special teams. Yeah, you know, we got CJ, we got Riley. You know, we got guys here, but we're also, you know, in the process of clean cleaning that up as well. We'll we'll certainly add some pieces there as well. So that is definitely in the count, and we are definitely moving forward. Uh, you know, in the specialist area. I'll let you know when I can. I just can't, can't, I can't tell you now, but I will. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Any more questions? All right, thank you. Hey, guys, have a great Christmas and happy holidays, okay? You too, thank you. You're welcome.